Have you ever wondered how your phone, laptop, and even your smart fridge talk to each other? From emails to video calls, computer networks make it all happen. But how do they really work? In this video, we're going to talk about computer networks. First, let's break it down. What is a network? A network can be defined as a group or system of interconnected people or things. So we can say a computer network is a system of interconnected, computing devices that can communicate and share resources with each other. Traditionally, a computer network would consist of desktop computers, servers, printers, etc. But these days we live in a connected world. We still have desktops, servers, and printers, but we now have a vast number of smart devices connected to our networks as well. Most of you will have a mobile phone, maybe a tablet, but these days, security cameras and even smart lights are found on networks. And the list really does go on and on. So, let's take a look at some basic networks and we can see what they look like. This one should be familiar to most of you. Here, we have a switch, a router, a wireless access point, a desktop, and a phone, all connected to the same network. This is a pretty common home setup. It's worthy to note that in most home networks, the switch and wireless access point will be built into the router. Generally speaking, any network in a single area is called a local area network or LAN. The LAN is usually connected to the outside world using a socket in the wall that your internet service provider has installed. This socket connects you to something called the wide area network or WAN. The purpose of a WAN is to connect separate local area networks together. The most obvious example of a WAN would be the Internet. However, businesses might have private WANs to connect multiple sites together. Let's look at a more business type network. We have all of our office computers, and these would usually plug into a wall or floor socket. And these sockets will have cables either running through the floor or the ceiling back to a special room called a wiring closet. This room might also be called a server room or patch room. In the wiring closet, all of these devices will connect to a stack of switches, which are mounted onto racks depending on the size of the network. There may be multiple wiring closets that all connect to each other, say for example, on different floors. Keep in mind though this has been simplified to give you a general idea. Lastly, let's look at another type of network that might not be so obvious. I mentioned earlier that I'm sure you all have smartphones of some sort. These phones generally have internet access via 3G, 4G, and even 5G. You can think of these as basically a giant wireless network for your phones. Somewhere close to you there will be a giant tower that allows you to connect and get internet access. The closer you are to these towers, the better the connection is likely to be. So, these are just some common network types and really just an introduction to some basic networking devices. The next logical question is why? Why do we need networks? Well, let's imagine life without networks for a second. If we want to print a document, we would need to directly connect a printer, which is fine. But, what if we have multiple computers? We would need multiple directly connected printers and this does not look good. The beauty of a network is thought can share resources. If I have a file and I want to send it to someone, I can. They can also share the file with everyone else. We can have shared printers that everyone can use. We can even have servers that could store these files for us. Of course, file sharing and preening are just one example, but this could be pretty much anything. And all of this even before we start talking about the internet, which by the way, is just a giant network. With the internet, we can search for anything we want, 
we literally have the world's knowledge at our fingertips. We have email. We can message our friends. We can use hosted computing. We can make telephone calls over the internet. And of course, we have a Weezum YouTube content. In conclusion, networking has changed the world and how we live in it. And there's no shortage of new things to learn. This video is part of our full CCNA course, which can be found in the description. Please feel free to check that out. If you liked this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next video.